71 for a high today in Portland, 77 in Sanford. Mild day today, as we mentioned, that air mass is changing. That's the front right here coming through Rangeley in Berlin. And really right behind it is much cooler air, so it's pretty quick and significant change. Uh, we'll see a chance for a sprinkle here over the next couple of hours, but these showers aren't all that heavy or all that consistent. Best chance of showers will be into the mountains, and then after that we'll get this thing out of here and we'll be partly cloudy overnight tonight. Might start tomorrow with quite a few clouds. We're in the 30s, low 40s tomorrow morning. And even when we get into some sunshine tomorrow during the middle of the day, our temperatures really struggle. We're sitting in the 50s. Maybe we get to 54 in a couple of spots, 55 at best over southern and western Maine. But the mountains staying in the 40s all day. And then tomorrow night is chilly into the 30s and a couple of the 20s even by Sunday morning. Sunday's nice along the coastline. Isolated chance for a shower, though, into the mountains and even a high elevation snow flurry. There's a possibility there. We talked about that a few days ago as well. So here comes that front, cooler, chilly, I don't know. I mean, it's relative, right? We won't consider this chilly in a couple of months, but considering where we've been, it will feel cool. And high pressure builds in, and we're in really good shape for several days in a row, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And now it looks like we might even get Thursday in before a front comes through on Friday. So every day we buy there, it gets a little bit warmer through mid to late next week. Foliage is looking real nice out there from what I've seen. Uh, even just driving around uh, the coastline right now, it's good. So it's peak in the mountains and it looks really great. And you know it doesn't last as long as you'd like. So this weekend might be a good chance to get out. If not next week, it'll probably make it to next weekend. You know, <laughs> sometimes it has to do with whether, whether or not we have a windstorm or something. And I don't see that, so the leaves will stay there and those slowly pitter patter on the way down. I have like all deciduous trees in my backyard. I have a very small backyard, but it is outrageous how many leaves. And I feel like an old man every year, like, oh, how can there be this many leaves? And I had to do the bags. Yeah. yeah. It's just. Uh, do the <clears throat> piss off those bags that look like jack o' lanterns, though, so you can at least have fun with them this time of year. Yeah. Do those. And you're a big Halloween that. guy. I am. I like it, looks great. I just. I can't believe it. Every year I'm like, how is this happening? Uh, people coming in at night and dumping Maybe there. They are. Yeah, they probably, they're like, we they know who lives there. there. Everybody <laughs> rakes up their leaves and they dump them in Got your yard. Back ah, in his truck in. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks, thanks Keith. Keith.